What's up, world? Today we are trying some Eastern European food. I'm pretty hungry. I don't know about I'm you. I'm starving. Yeah. Okay. I didn't eat so we're today, we're ready so. for this. We're let's pumped. let's get it on. I'm excited. I, I have an Eastern European background. My my grandfather is actually from Poland, but I've never tried anything except for pierogies. So let's see how it goes. All right. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's have some meat. Are you familiar with Eastern European food? Well, I actually used to uh, oh, own yeah. a Polish restaurant, so some of this stuff's gonna be pretty familiar. Okay, I did say to myself, here then. I wouldn't try this stuff ever again after that experience, but. <laughs> here we are. All right, well. It looks like a potato salad of some sort. Yeah, yeah, potato salad. Looks like a nice summer salad. It does. This one's called Olivier. It's Olivier? Olivier. That's like French sounding. Yeah, it's very, it's very sexy. Nice. Olivier. Olivier? Sounds yeah. French. Sounds like an allergy drug. <laughs> yeah, it looks nice and summery. Let's do it. I see like So celery, I see carrots, celery. Mmm. Was that apple? I can mess with this. This is really good. Yeah, very good, very good. I'm not gonna lie, at first I was like, is this gonna stay down with me? I had a few cocktails last night. <laughs> but so far, yeah, I'm, I'm liking this. I can eat this whole mm -hmm. thing. Oh yeah, I can eat that all day. This is amazing. You like How it? have I never had this before? Where can you get this from, Alivier? I can see this being made, being whipped up quick. You know, like by a busy mom or a busy grandmother with a household full of people, you know, just get some peas, get some celery and kind of throw it into a bowl. Rate right out of 10? I don't know, I'm heavy on salt and pepper with most of my food. Mm. I wouldn't add anything to this. It's I like it. It's good, yeah. Honestly, like in... I mean, it's definitely... It's like a cute, like, barbecue staple, you know, like, tailgate or something. It's not pizza. Would I eat this once in a while? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, At absolutely. summer food, exactly like she's saying, mm -hmm. yeah, I would definitely eat this a lot. Uh, yeah, let's go, I don't know, seven and a half out of ten, yeah. seven out of ten. Sure, seven yeah. out of ten. Yeah, we're into this. I'd give this a seven. I'm, I'm not picky. I'm also a seven. Okay. Good? Nope, not great. Not bad. No. I'm gonna say good. Mm -hmm. Solid seven. This is really good. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm, like, super... It's I was a little scared. Yep. In the beginning? Yep. Seeing it? No, it's good. I know a little bit of Russian, I think, by the way. Do you want to verify my um, my pronunciation? <laughs> uh, I know, Yetebe Lublu. Is it good? Yeah? It so means I love that? you. And then I know a bad word, which I don't know if we should run that, though. Posese mo. Okay, so. What is this? I think I know. This is borscht. So this one is. Borscht. Yeah, you definitely want to know. Borscht? Borscht. 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 Oh, Borscht, okay. B-O-R-S-C-E. C-H. Close. So, my mother-in-law is Polish. So my wife is half Polish. So, because there's a lot of crossover, my mother-in-law makes a wicked Borscht. Awesome. So, I'm gonna have a lot of judgment on this. Okay. I've it's never tried soup. this before. I yeah. was gonna say, it looks just like straight beets with yeah. water. It's a beet soup. So Tanya thinks this is uh, oh, it's a little... this is a little suspect. I, I think it looks delicious. I'm into this. We'll go with the sour cream. I'm not a big sour cream guy, but let's do it anyways. Not checking the expiry date. Just gonna take my chances with this one. <laughs> it's been in the fridge since uh, 2018. <laughs> you want some? Yeah, I'll try some. Cool. It's good. Well, I mean, like it tastes like beets. Like I back the sour cream. So I love borscht. I'm kind of uh, biased towards this. This has a beautiful color. It looks great. I see some dill. This will be my first time ever trying this, so let's go. Beet dill, I think it smells like. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> see, this I would add a little salt to, but it's very good. Honestly, the sour cream is really good. Like I know, it's a nice yeah. flavor add. Yep. I went in with really low expectations, and I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Way to be a pessimist. Glass, glass half empty right there. I like the borscht. <laughs> Flavor's good. Um, I like it a little more beady, a little more of the beets in the flavor. I like this. It's good. I would say this is, I'm not as much of a fan as I am with the potato salad or the allier. Six, 6.5. I'm 6. not 5? mad at it. Yeah, no. okay. Yeah, I'll give it a 6.5 too. Seven, I don't know. Whatever. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's editable. Editable. <laughs> That's editable. Again, like with my mother-in-law's borscht being like a nine and a half out of 10, I'll give this a, 
I'm gonna go four, just because okay. I don't love beats, Ooh. and this is a, yeah. Yeah. It's not my, not my style. No hope for Josh. <laughs> By the way, Max, where was all this uh, Eastern Europe, European food from today? Chengchenkos. Mm. Chengchenkos? Huh? Sure, there. why not? Go on my plug. <laughs> Chengchenkos. John Chenkos. Yeah. Okay. All right, what do we got next? Not my first rodeo with these bad boys. <laughs> Looks I good. I already with this, honest. Kalupsi? Kalupsi? Yeah. That's Kalupsi. nice, eh? That's nice. Yeah. yeah, it's very nice language. Nobody's ever said that before, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Mmm. Kalupsi? Kalupsi. Appearance looks great. I'm a huge fan of cabbage rolls. I've yeah. never tried something like this before. So never had a cabbage roll? Never had a cabbage roll. I like really? cabbage, nice. I like rolls, but I've never had a cabbage roll. Nice. So. Oh, this is so good. I like this too. This is yeah. one of my favorite cabbage rolls, actually. So I good. usually don't like cabbage rolls because the cabbage is really, really thick. Mm. This one's nice and thin. Um, yeah, it tastes really good. Really good. This is like peasant food. <laughs> Stuff is made. Really? You know, it's true. Cabbage rolls are because they're simple. It was simple to make with simple ingredients from like the farm. Yeah, this is really, really good. So like out of 10, uh, I'd give this like a solid like 8.5. I'm gonna go nine. This is yeah. the best thing I've had so far, 100%. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite so far. Yeah? Yeah. What do you give it? Um, like an eight, 8.5. Mm. I'd be like, I'd be down to have these, mm. like, once a week. Yeah, on the red. Once yeah. a week? Yeah. Average rolls once a week. <laughs> Why not? That's bold, I don't know about that. <laughs> Let's call it an eight out of 10, maybe, okay. I don't know. I'm worried about the next dish, though, I'm not gonna lie. I could try with some sriracha, I could go for that. I'm a big spice fan, nice. so. Good job, Jenchenko's on the cabbage roll. Shout out Jenchenko's. Hook us up, like wholesale, you know, maybe we'll fix up your website. <laughs> Definitely good with the spice. Did that bring it to life for you? 100%. Yeah. Well, yeah, like I said, I had a pierogi restaurant before. I told myself I would never have oh, another yeah. pierogi in my life. <laughs> so I guess today is the day where I break that promise to myself. So when was the last time you had a pierogi? Last time I had a pierogi uh, was probably three years ago. Vareniki. All right. Okay. So this is the only food of all the foods that I've had before. Okay. So I have a little bit of an opinion before mm -hmm. I eat the pierogi. So I have a quiz for you, T. Cruz. Oh God. <laughs> how, do you, how do you spell pierogi? Oh no. Um, is it P I E R O G? I-E. Um, I think that's one of the ways to spell it. But the plural for pierogies is not pierogies, it's pierogi. All right, here we go. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I find these a little blend. I mean, I'm not the pierogi master here, but I'm, you can, I'm not mad at this. I, I, they're not bad. I also like to finish it in like a frying pan, so that's kind of my style of it. And mm -hmm. I throw a lot of cheese on these usually too. I'm kind of with Noah. Noah was saying he likes to finish them off in a frying pan. I'm the same. How did you guys used to cook them? Just boil them? Exactly like this. Yeah, yeah. But now that I'm thinking about it, a little bit of crisp would be mm. nice on the outside. It's so good. Like That's these are nice. Way. The inside is perfect, but if the outside was crispy, mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. This is a pretty good pierogi. I'd give it a, I'd give it a six and a half. I'm gonna go with a seven and a half. So what do you give this one a, a rating out of? A six. Six? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll go to five because I just don't like pierogies <laughs> anymore. I'm over them for life. All right, the best course <laughs> of any meal. Oh Dessert. Good. All right. Okay. These are all so good so far. I'm like really surprised. Yeah, this is like a grandma meal. This is like going over to your meal. Russian grandmas for okay. like a holiday dinner. Medivik. Uh -huh. Medovik. I learned five new Russian words today. Uh, it looks beautiful. Medovik. Medovik. I don't know. It kind of looks cakey. It looks a little tiramisu-ish. Yeah. Um, but something tells me it's not going to be. But I like it. I like the appearance. Oh. Looks yeah. like something I would eat on a regular. I'm gonna love it. It's so good. Mmm. It's like a mm. honey bun in mm. like a cake form. It's so good. I actually didn't expect it to taste like that. I thought it was gonna be more like um, like a tiram tiramisu flavor yeah, 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 yeah. style, but it's not at all. You're right. It's it's almost like more like a baklava 
Mm-hmm. Style dessert. Just, yeah. This right, Cinnabon. So, yeah. And now I'm getting that. Cinnamon, honey, chocolate. Mm-hmm. Just deliciousness. This is beautiful. This is so good. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tastes like cinnamon apple. Mm-hmm. So good. That's like the perfect combo. Cinnamon apple, cinnamon apple pie. It's soft, it's cakey. Mm-hmm. It's not too this is sweet. very good. But this is good, I can do this. It's a good portion. If they serve this at a birthday party for dessert, yeah. I would have it. Okay. Uh, this is an eight. I'm gonna go with eight too. I'm on the same page. I like the honey. This is a 10 for me, honestly. Mm. I'll, yeah. I'm gonna say this is an eight for me. I like it. The 10, 10 out of 10 dessert for you. Creme brulee. Creme brulee. Creme brulee. There we go. Yeah. Good creme brulee. Yeah, yeah. I think, do we, yeah, did I eat it with you before? Maybe at Harbor 60 or something? Yeah, Harbor 60. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. That Harbor 60 creme brulee, I'll give them a plug, is a 10 out of 10. They're also a client, so beautiful. I like the plate. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really like the cabbage roll. I think you'd agree. Yeah, that, that was that kind was of my our, our top. The cabbage roll was lit. I think um, second for me is dessert. Okay, I'd go there too. Potato salad. Oh yeah, uh, forgettable though. Yeah. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, we ate that. Um, but yeah, I think like third. Um, I'm gonna go pierogies last, honestly. Yeah, I know you'd probably, I'm gonna switch it. For me, it's the soup. Yeah? The soup's last for me. I'm really? Gonna, yeah. I like, the, I like the borscht. I think that was an underrated one. Uh, I'll definitely, it's a nice start to a meal. But overall, that was really delicious. That was really good. I co-sign on Eastern European food. Comp that. <laughs> so number one? Number one, definitely cabbage, cabbage rolls. rolls. Yeah. 100% cabbage 100. rolls. That yeah. was so good. So I would good. eat that every day of my whole life. Yes. All right, number two. Um, I'm gonna go with the potato salad. I'm simple. I'm gonna go with the cake. Yeah? That cake was legit. I'm gonna go with the cake. I'm gonna go with the salad. So there we go, we, we swapped yeah. two and three. Number four, pierogi. Pierogies. Number, number five, five borscht. borscht. No, I only, I'm only doing number five borscht just because again, I'm really you picky. Agree. I've eaten a lot of good borscht. All right, thanks for watching us do the food challenge, Eastern European food. We had some fun. Leave us a comment, leave us a like, subscribe if you haven't to the Influence Agency on YouTube. And uh, I don't know, let us know what you wanna see us eat next time. This was pretty safe, so I think we can do something a little more hardcore. Definitely, Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, as long as Josh has hot sauce, we're good. Thanks.